Hi everybody, welcome to the Scott Show. We are talking NFL picks for this week. Week 16, we're going down to the wire. It's getting closer and closer to the end of the year. (coughs) (coughs) And we're having lots of fun. As you guys can tell. So, what we're doing is we are giving you guys the picks for week 8, week 16. Week 18 would be the first part of the uh, playoffs. But before I start, let's talk of the playoffs and the week 18, the magical week where we start off the playoffs. In the AFC, New England would be first, then Pittsburgh, if the day, if it ended today. Jacksonville would be third, Tennessee, or, I'm sorry, Tennessee would be the first wild card. They would face off against number four, Kansas City. And Buffalo would face off against Jacksonville in the other one. If New England and Pittsburgh keep winning, then they'll be good. Otherwise, Jacksonville is going to sneak up and get that um, get the uh, first round bye. And in the other side of the coin, the NFC, Philadelphia is in first place right now. Minnesota in second place. So the road does go through Philadelphia unless you have one of the one of these four teams beat Philadelphia in the second round. And that would be Los Angeles versus Atlanta and New Orleans against Carolina. Now think about this folks, this is an interesting little side note. So if Philadelphia gets beat in the second round or loses their next two games, so then Minnesota would move up to the number one ranking. The road would go through Minnesota. The NFC Championship game could be in Minnesota this year. And if it is, how cool would that be two weeks later where, again, in Minnesota, you have the Super Bowl. You could have Minnesota in there. I know a lot of people are hoping and wishing and everything else. But, um, you know, folks, if if they keep winning, they'll be two games away from being in their own Super Bowl that they're hosting. And tickets would fly up and everybody would be so pumped up. I did hear somebody say that if Minnesota wins the NFC Championship, they're going to win the Super Bowl. And the reason why is because you can't handle those fans. When they are home field, and it's the first time they've been in a Super Bowl since 19 blah, blah, blah. I mean, they lost four. So let them win one, and in their hometown would be so much better. I could just imagine what this world would be like with a Minnesota Vikings Super Bowl victory. But I will be watching the Super Bowl. I will not be at it. Even though Justin Timberlake is the uh, halftime show, so that's not that bad. All right, so that is right now what we're looking at as far as the playoff situation. It can change a little bit, but the Packers are out. There's only a few more teams that are in the hunt to win. Um, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right, so we go. We start with Saturday. There's no Thursday night game. So we start with Saturday at Baltimore. Uh, I have them defeating Indianapolis because they are in Baltimore. Uh, in one of my favorite places in Baltimore. And then I have Minnesota being beating Green Bay. Um, those games both happened Saturday the 23rd, the day before the most wonderful day of the year. Full football day, but I'm probably not watching any of it. I might, but I'm probably not going to. Um, so, Sunday, December 24th, Christmas Eve. I have Carolina over Tampa Bay. I have Chicago over Cleveland, and I have Cincinnati over Detroit. <clears throat> then I have Miami defeating Kansas City. I have New England defeating Buffalo. However, I will take a Buffalo win. I will be cool with Buffalo winning that game. I have Atlanta defeating New Orleans. This game will go right down to the wire as who gets what pick of where they go and what happens in the playoffs. The Chargers, I have them beating the Jets. The Rams, I have them beating Tennessee. 
Washington over Denver. I have Jacksonville over San Francisco. Arizona over the Giants. Seattle over Dallas. Pittsburgh over Houston. And Philadelphia over Oakland. Again, I'll take an Oakland win. I'm cool losing some games. But let me tell you guys, I have 665 to the plus. That's where I'm at right now. So I don't want to be just one and be 666 because that would suck. So at least (coughs) let me win by more than one this weekend. And I will be fine. I will be totally good winning more than one this weekend. And then we'll be alright. So, quick, and uh, then I'll let you guys rock on the next awesome podcast. Probably one of mine. Baltimore, Minnesota, Carolina, Chicago, Cincinnati, Miami, New England, Atlanta, the Chargers, the Rams, Washington, Jacksonville, Arizona, Seattle, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. It's going to be a great week to be in Pennsylvania. As Monday, that's what it's going to be all about. It's going to be Christmas time, not in Hollis, Queens, but in Pennsylvania, as Pittsburgh and Philadelphia will both win, I think, their games. Now, if they both lose, then, you know, it is what it is. If Pittsburgh loses, then New England's going to get the first round pick. Or get the uh, get the first round buy, and the second, you know, oh, the road will go through New England. If Philadelphia wins or loses, then Minnesota has a better chance. But they got to win the next two games to get that no uh, to get that buy, and that's super important. <coughs> we will see what happens. Um, Minnesota's in Green Bay. It's it's a rivalry game. So it's going to be a good one. But I do have Minnesota winning that. Um, I do want to thank Swish uh, for liking the tweet that we are doing this uh, pick stuff. And, and folks, I, I'm very interested. I'm going to be doing uh, the NFL playoff pick them too. Uh, so we'll have a bunch of fun with that. Talk about how cool the season was for us and everything else. But I want to thank you guys for following along with the NFL picks. Uh, We're definitely having a lot of fun doing it. And we will see you guys here real soon on the Scott Show podcast.